Hey guys, it's me Drew and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a Rose Girls Mini Melters haul to share with you all. Now, if you know me, you know I love Rose Girls. They're in my top five vendors, which by the end of the year, I'm going to make a top five vendors video and why I chose them, but I definitely have a top five vendor choice and I definitely have been thinking about it and why I chose those vendors. I'm not going to do worst vendors video because that's not really, I don't know. I, I did a worst candle brands, but that's different. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to talk about a vendor and why I don't like them. But unless you guys really want to see a my least favorite vendor video, I could do it. Let me know if you want. I don't know yet. I'm still on the fence because drama. But anyway, Rose Girls is in a top vendor for me. Rose Girls, the creator, Jenny Oaks, she created Rose Girls with her mom from Oshkosh, Wisconsin. They're famous for their chunks, but in today, I'm talking about her mini melters. So, all the time, they, well, most of the time, they offer their mini melters. And their mini melters look like this. They're just little cubes of wax, and they're either designed to melt on their own where they're really great for mixing. So say you fall in love with a chunk blend, but it's not offered as often as you would like it to, you can pop in a couple mini melters and get that same scent that you liked out of the chunk in the mini melters. For me, I really just like single scents, um, but I mean, it is fun to blend. And their bags retail for $8, and I think there's six ounces of wax. Again, I put my little Arrive On sticker on the back because I like an accurate date on when I get the stuff so I know how long to let it sit. I typically, Rose Girls, and I know a lot of people have been saying that Rose Girls isn't the strongest wax. Her wax needs to cure, and her wax lasts a long time. I personally cure my Rose Girls at least a month, maybe more. Honestly, I'm probably not even gonna melt this stuff for like three months, because I know the longer it sits, the better it gets, and I'm in no rush to melt this stuff. But I did end up placing, where's the other one, right here? Two separate orders, because the first order I placed on things I really wanted, and then the second was the things I wanted, but I wouldn't be heartbroken if I missed out. So I did get two sets of samples. They are actually the same scent, and it is pumpkin pecan waffles and birthday cake. I love pumpkin pecan waffles, and this is just a super sweet birthday cake version of pumpkin pecan waffles, which, how can you get more sweeter than pumpkin pecan waffles? Mixed birthday cake. I think one of the classic Rose Girl scents is raspberry sauce. People love it. It's super strong. And here, I'll pull one of the melts out. So they're roughly around the same size. So just a little mini melter. I pop one or two in all of my warmers and get a really great scent throw throughout my whole apartment when I'm melting mini melters. And this smells just like that. And I hate to say it, but it is artificial, really fruity raspberry sauce that you put on ice cream. It does. It smells just like that, like, artificial, fake, candy raspberry that is absolutely delicious, though. Like, there's no reason why you wouldn't want that. I love raspberry sauce. Two bags of one of my favorites, which is banana bread carbs. So her carb scent is like pretzels and cookies and bread and all of the goodness mixed with her banana bread. Now I have heard some people say that the different colors, are they different scents? No, it's all the same scent, just different colors in the bag, just to give it some fun. I love this. I was actually melting this in chunks by my bed last night before bed and Oh, I mean, you just have the best sleep when you melt banana bread carbs. It's like super rich banana bread, but then you get all the extra bready goodness mixed with it. Candy apple milkshake. Now, candy apple milkshake is interesting to me. It's definitely more of like a green candy apple. Unless it's like my nose and my eyes playing tricks on me because it's green, but... To me, it smells like a very green milkshake. A green milkshake. A green apple. And then, 
like some rich vanilla. I don't really get milkshake necessarily out of it, but it smells divine. I'm like running out of room already, and I just started. Pumpkin spice latte. Can't go wrong with pumpkin spice latte. Um, PSL all the way. Oh, this is nice. The pumpkin is definitely detectable, but it's definitely heavy on the milk and the espresso. Like, it's 30, 30, 33, 33, 33. Like, you can smell all of them, but what I like is that some pumpkin spice latte scents, you don't necessarily get pumpkin out of it. You get pumpkin out of this. It's definitely like a hearty, rich, creamy, creamy pumpkin. Keep going. Vanilla sandalwood, campfire marshmallow, and vanilla lace. Now, this scent, I was watching my old videos. I ordered this in a half pie six, seven years ago when they used to do half pies. So I ordered this plain or mainly for nostalgia. Oh my god. Do you ever guys get like an itchy side of your nose when you smell the bag like it like tickles your nose? Oh my god. This is amazing. It's like you definitely get vanilla lace, gooey marshmallow. It's so good. Vanilla sandalwood kind of just makes it a little bit more perfumey. I remember this scent from when I was melting it in the half pies. And it's just as good as it was before. I'm obsessed. Jelly Donut. My friend actually sent me a few of these a couple weeks ago. And I melted them. And whenever I saw this, I'm like, I need Jelly Donut in my life. Authentic grape Jelly Donut to me. Like, you definitely pick up on grape, but it doesn't come off across as medicinal. Because the yeastiness of the donut is so strong. And like powdered sugar and all that ooey gooey. Mixed with the grape jelly makes it just mm, heaven. It's so, so, so good. God, I'm ha gonna have to pitch some on my bed because I'm running out of room next to me. Sweet pumpkin pie. Now, sweet pumpkin pie is interesting. I love pumpkin pie scents. Definitely graham cracker. I'm actually thinking of melting the sweet pumpkin pie with that vanilla campfire to give it like a really uh, fall-esque scent. But this is nice. This is really, really nice. You definitely pick up on the pumpkin, like the Libby's pumpkin puree. A little bit of like a rich vanilla, probably like a whipped cream. And then that graham cracker is definitely prevalent in here. And I love a graham cracker scent. Catherine King, where you at, girl? Baked zucchini bread. Zucchini bread is amazing in everything. I love zucchini bread. And Jenny has an awesome one. It's definitely hearty zucchini. You can really smell the actual zucchini in here mixed with those spices and the yeastiness. Oh, it's so good. Not overly spicy though, so don't get that confused because some vendors have a very, very spicy zucchini bread. This is not one of them. Strawberry jam. I was really excited about this one because I love strawberry scents. This is not my jam. I don't know. It doesn't smell like the strawberry jam I'm used to, like the really syrupy strawberry of a strawberry jam. It kind of smells like like a chapsticky strawberry. I hate to say that, but I don't know. And like, I love her strawberry, what was it, like the strawberry um, vanilla, or like strawberry nilla Noel, I can't even think of what it's called. I love that, but on that on its own, I don't know, it smells like chapsticky, but maybe that'll change when it warms in. Again, some cure time, because cure time is super important. Apple fritter donut holes. Yum. Okay, so you ever know whenever you go to like Dunkin' Donuts and you get an apple fritter, but it's really just like apple flavor dough that's shaped like an apple fritter? This is like an apple fritter that has the hunks of really rich, like, apples that have been cooked down so much that when you bite into it, you get the juiciness of the apple with the cinnamon and the yeasty donut and the glaze, but you don't get, like, 
you don't get a hard apple, you get a really, really soft apple, and then those other donuts, like Dunkin', you don't get any donut, any apple. This smells like you're biting into an apple fritter to, that actually smells like it's supposed to. Like, it has apples in it. I can't stand when you get an apple scent, that or an apple fritter that doesn't have apples. I don't know what I'm talking about. Shaving cream. You guys... You know my favorite scent of all time from VCS is um, Sweeney's Barbershop and that shaving cream. This is the shaving cream oil. It's not cologne -y. It smells like you just took like unscented shaving cream and shot it out of the can. And it smells like that true fresh shaving cream. Like I don't even know how else to describe it. But it doesn't smell like cologne. Like I think when people think of uh, shaving cream, they think cologne. It doesn't smell like cologne. It's so good. I might mix that with strawberry jam. It's not minty, so it's not going to smell like um, the VCS blend, but I definitely just love that. I love shaving cream. Stainless steel. Speaking of cologne, this smells very masculine. This smells like a very watery, aquatic masculine scent. Like bergamot, vetiver, a little bit of Oh my god, a little bit of musk. It's really good. It's very clean, like a very clean man. I almost wonder what shaving cream and stainless steel would smell like together. Danny, I know you love sh stainless steel. If you mix stainless steel with shaving cream, have you tried that? What's that like? Now this one. I'll have to admit, olive. I really wasn't too excited about this one. It kind of smells like... I don't want to say it smells like olive oil, but it kind of smells like olive oil. It has a very, like, a very, like, warm scent to it. But the reason why I got olive was because of So White. So White is a Lush bath bomb scent that's like a very crisp apple. Yep, I mean, I love this scent. And if you mix So White and Olive together, you get her scent. It's not called Olive You. It's called... I don't remember. If you remember the uh, olive and so white blend down below, that's how I remember ordering it last time in chunks, and I loved the scent. So I ordered so white and olive to mix together purely. But so white is a lush bath bomb scent, and it actually, you know how the lush bath bombs all have that bath bomb smell? It smells like that. Like if an apple scent was a bath bomb, which it is. Morning sex is a really um like zen type of scent. It's like sea salty. It almost smells like, I actually just got this for the first time. If you walk into an Abercrombie store and the woman was wearing an Abercrombie perfume in the store. So she smells like her perfume in an Abercrombie. Does that make any sense? It makes sense in my head. Like, you get a very light whiff of the Abercrombie scent with, like, a woman's woman's perfume. But don't take that as, like, it's super cologne because it's not. <laughs> I'm on another level with these descriptions today. Pumpkin Espresso Sugared Donuts. Yum. Oh, yeah. I love espresso. Like I said in my last video, espresso smells different than coffee. I love espresso. It's like that hearty coffee, like the really rich coffee, mixed with cinnamony, sugary donuts, and a hint of pumpkin. And this genuinely smells like a pumpkin. Like, I, I don't like when pumpkin scents smell like just spice. Macintosh Madness. I've been loving Mac scents lately. Mac apple. Mac. I've been loving Mac scents. I've been loving Mac apple scents. So I wanted to get um, uh, Rose Girls. And if I'm wrong, definitely let me know. But I believe Jenny's favorite scent is Macintosh Apple. She she loves it. So it's nice to get a scent that Jenny loves. And I mean, can you ever really go wrong with a crisp apple? Now, what's interesting is, so white is apple, but it's based on the bath bomb. This is apple straight apple. They smell different because so white has that bath bomb smell. Cider Lane, My Kryptonite. Do I even need to say any more? 
the most gooey, rich, buttery caramel apple crossed with a candy apple. Heaven. And see what I love about vendor wax is I can put this away and in six months when it's the middle of summer and I'm so ready for fall again. Already ready for fall. It's September. You're allowed. I can melt cider lane because I can. Captain Crunchberries. Now this is my hair color. So Captain Crunchberries, the cereal. And what's so interesting is to me, Fruit Loops smells very lemony, like just a very rich cereal, like a lemon cereal scent. Where Captain Crunchberries genuinely smells like a Crunchberry. Like, I think it's interesting because aren't Captain Crunchberries red? But it genuinely smells like it. Like that red artificial dusty cereal that you all ate as a kid. Ooey gooey pears. Yum. I love saying ooey gooey. I get that from Canada Kim. Canada Kim loves ooey gooey. Or she doesn't like ooey gooey, but she always says ooey gooey. Ooey gooey. This is ooey gooey pears. I don't really get much pear necessarily. I get a lot more like caramel, which ooey gooey makes sense. Maybe the pear comes out more um, when you warm it. But for me, it just smells like a really rich caramel scent. You can smell like there's some fruit. I don't necessarily think it smells like pears, though. Pumpkin bear claws. Yum. I mean, I love bear claws to begin with, especially when they're really warm and then you put butter on them and the butter melts. Heaven. And this smells like that mixed with some pumpkin. Like you took a warm bear claw and put... Um, pumpkin butter. Mm, does that not sound amazing? I am more of an apple butter fan than pumpkin butter, but it smells like a bear cloth that you put pumpkin butter on. And then last, but certainly not least, peaches and cream. I love this scent. I also got this in a little sample from a friend, and I popped it in my bathroom and just made the bathroom smell so fresh, so clean. And that's what it smells like. Like, a great peaches and cream. Like, every time I see this, I think of the Yoplait yogurt that was peach and that was like fruit on the bottom and when you mixed it up, you got that really creamy peach. That's what it smells like. I feel like that was kind of quick, but they're all pretty self-explanatory. Again, mini melters are more made to mix together and I feel like with her chunks, there's a lot more depth to them where these are more simple, but still amazing because I love Rose Girls and I think mini melters are a great way to just wake up, boop, 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 pop them all in your warmers, and get about your day and have the place smelling great. So, let me know if you've tried Rose Girls mini melters. Let's get the conversation started down below. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're alerted every time I upload on YouTube. I'll talk to you guys soon. Love you. Bye.